Well, that space game there looks like a thrill a minute. Why not try a real blast? Laser Blast by Activision, a new breed of game cartridge for your Atari video computer system. In the opening volley of the console wars, the Atari 2600 emerged as a force to be reckoned with. But all too often, the 2600 used its powers for evil. These are the games that joined E.T. on his long journey down the road of total suck. Pac-Man is one of the great mainstays of gaming. Simple, compelling, and completely effed up on the Atari. I can't explain why somebody felt the need to screw with the maze designs or remove Pac-Man's ability to look up. Donkey Kong Jr. was a follow-up to the popular Donkey Kong arcade game. It has the distinct honor of starring the worst monkey in the history of gaming. Donkey Kong Jr. could barely run, climb, and jump. He couldn't even throw feces. The worst monkey in history was followed swiftly by the worst martial artists in history. Karate is an epic fighter where you pit a green guy against a purple guy. As a bonus to the unresponsive gameplay, every kick and punch sounds like an electronic fart. Sword Quest was one big, huh? Okay, starting on my quest. Let's see, I'll need this upside down cross, this chastity belt. I think I need to talk to this midget. Enough of this. I'm gonna go play Crawl. Now there was a game. All right, horse is running, horse is running. No, let's turn around. Okay, here's a spider and I'm climbing. Yay! I made it to the top. How come the spider came back? This one doesn't make any sense either. How do I win? I wanna go home. Crawl may be a crappy game based on a crappy movie, but at least it never pissed off women or Native American tribes or all gamers in general. That's right, I'm talking about Custer's revenge. Apparently, the only way Custer can get his revenge is to run naked across the desert and get it on with a tied up Native American lady. Way to make amends for past sins, guys. Custer and his ilk are gone now, their terrible graphics and absurd gameplay whisked away by the Atari 2600's fleeting shelf life. I think I speak for everyone when I say, thank you, Atari 2600, for the games we'll always remember. The games we can't unplay. The games we can't forget, even when we gouge out our own eyes.